Let's celebrate together! What's wrong? Does your back ache? Come! Come on! Let's see them walk up the hill together! The criminals! Ha! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Move faster! Move it along! Hurry up! Hurry! Faster. Quickly! Quickly! We are the right dog! Okay, dog! Get moving, dog! Faster! Move it along! Come on! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Hurry it up! Move! Come with me. No. Lead on me. Come on, hurry up. These are the orders of Julius, not of Diocletian. What difference does it make? Today I will either be killed or will put a stop to the brutal killings of the Christians. Okay, okay. I agree with you. I agree. We will rise up against these murders, even if it means killing both Julius and Diocletia. But my friends, it is best that we do not speak of Christians for now. We need a workforce. And given the orders of Diocletian, we cannot succeed if we don't have laborers. That is correct. And most laborers are Christian. That is a good idea. Yes. Let's go. All right. All right. Hmm. So this is the case. Your Highness, the advisors. If you are here to complain about the lack of progress in the city's affairs, I have already heard it from these gentlemen. That's correct, Your Excellency. It's for that very reason we're here. So, why do you think the work is coming along so slowly? Mm -hmm. Did Diocletia need several Christians for the amphitheater or all of the laborers of the city? Maximilian. What difference does it make? Your Highness, most of the temple renovations and repairs are being done by people who are arrested for being Christians. The installation of the Emperor's sculpture in the middle of the square has been abandoned half done. Why? Because Julius has decided to arrest the laborers. Excuse me, Your Highnesses. But is this the only reason for all of this concern and tension? Or... Or is there another reason also? You always overstep your boundaries. Watch your tongue. I sense the malice in your tone. But be forewarned, I have no patience for it. Look at my advisors. Instead of preparing the city, they're showing each other their fangs. <laughs> In your opinion, is it possible to renovate and repair the city without a workforce? Julius, for now, let the workers who are busy restoring the city be. But you know why? They are being detained, Your Excellency. I am in search of Adonia. I know, I know. Are you prepared to kill everyone in the entire city for one person? How can I prove that? Enough! That is enough, Julius, enough! The Emperor is arriving in several days, and you are busy fighting with each other. Go! Get to work! 
go. Maximilian. Maximilian, your identity cannot be kept hidden forever. One day I'll prove that the great aristocrat of Rome no longer worships Jupiter. On that day, Romulus will turn in his grave. They say Romulus was raised on the milk of wolves. But I believe they raised you on the venom of serpents. And so, Maximilian, will one day taste this venom. And I will wait for that day. <laughs> Is there anything we can do to assist you, Julius? Move it! Come on! Wheel it over! Roll it over! Not too much! Okay, let's go there! Be careful not to run into anything! Be careful! That's good, that's good! Okay, easy, steady! That's good! Easy, e easy! Careful with the sculpture of the Emperor. Steady. Turn it a little. Easy. Careful. Yep, right. That's good. Be careful. Pull it up. Be careful. Lift it up. Mask up. Watch the base. Hey, you. Be careful. Okay, a little, little more. Easy. Careful. All right. All right. Got that. that. Yep, there. Now, just up. Slowly, gently, careful of the feet, not the feet, okay? Slowly now, almost there lads, all right, looking good, bring it across, cross now, yep, onto the plinth, yeah, watch your fingers, fingers, come on, let's go, and down, Careful. And Be careful not to in. damage the sculpture of the Emperor. Place. Do you well think Diocletian did not believe what Julius said about Maximilian and Lady Helen? With his ill intentions towards Lady Helen, Julius has lost favor with Diocletian. Otherwise, with the information that he has, Maximilian and Lady Helen should have been destroyed by now. Additionally, dear Cletian is aware of Julius's ambition and thirst for recognition. And it is for this very reason that he has disregarded what Julius has been saying. Julius intends to take Lady Helen for himself to strengthen his position before Diocletian, and he shall certainly spare no effort in achieving that goal. If it is proven to Diocletian that Maximilian and his daughter do not worship the gods of Rome, and instead worship Christ, their death will be swift. We must be extremely careful. Do not forget that Whatever happens to them will happen to us as well. I am constantly awaiting an incident. Keep moving. Get going. Anyway, Keep this moving. is a difficult situation. Move, go, move. We can only wait. That's good. That's good. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on now, huh? Move on. Move forward. Keep pushing. Bring them here! 
Bring them here! Move! Huh? This way! Stop! Stop! He's a Christian! Arrest him! Arrest Get him! Get down, dog! Get off there! Let me go! Come Leave me alone! Now. He's lying! What? Stop Let fighting! Me. No! What are you doing? Fight! Where are you taking this laborer? Let him go. I fall at your feet. I'm your servant, but he is a Christian. How do you know? Your Highness, he works for Julius. He knows the Christians very well. <laughs> he is needed here for now. He is a valuable worker. Let him go for now. I uh, thank you. With your permission, let's go. Move. Bring them. Walk. That's it. Get Bring going. Them. Get going. Go. Move. I wish we could do something to help Keep them going. as well. Keep pushing. For how long do Push we have to tolerate up. this situation? For how long? Come on, huh? Move. Move. species must learn belligerency and savageness in order to stay alive like a wild beast learn the secrets of warfare because the mightier always live what's a going longer. on here you must prepare for the performance in front of the emperor don't rip each other apart try not to scar each other you can spar with less vigor. Yes, this one's very nice. I think we should take this one. Oh, I like that one too. That's good. Right. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Move. Go. Walk. Move. Come on. Keep moving. Come on, ha! Ha! Keep moving, come on! Keep moving! Stand back! Keep moving! Where are you taking come on, those people? Keep the moving. large ones are going to be used as gladiators, and the smaller ones will be for the lion cages. It will be an enjoyable performance. Of course, you understand the Emperor must be entertained, my lady. <laughs> the mass murder of our fellow believers? And on this scale? Today we went to speak to Diocletian about exactly that. In the end it was decided that Christians working on preparing the city will be spared for now. That's it. And what about other Christians? Are they not to be considered? Today we were in the presence of Diocletian. We had words with Julius over the arrest. Your father has become suspicious towards us. Yes, one more dispute and his suspicions about us being monotheists and of our relationship with Christians will be confirmed. And this is exactly what Julius wants. If you will allow it, I will go to Diocletian myself. Even if I am killed, it is better. 
than living like this. <sighs> we must see whether anything can be resolved with the loss of one's life. We are down to our last arrow, so we must hit the mark, or we will be at a disadvantage. Excuse me, Your Highness. Don't you think that, with such a great number of Christians, we can topple Diocletian's government? Our greatest adversary is not Diocletian. It is the Emperor. All right, the Emperor? Well, you can do it. Why don't we... Why don't we kill the Emperor? Assume we do kill him. Rome will still stand. Even if the government of Rome changes, it is useless. As long as the people believe the Emperor is a god and that the gods are the pillars of his power, even with the fall of a thousand empires. These people will still choose yet another Emperor. And furthermore, how can we be sure that the death of the Emperor will not be accompanied with the deaths of many of our fellow believers? No, no, no. The fall of Rome is not our responsibility. So what do we do? Is our only choice silence and inaction? No, the solution is not to be silent and do nothing. I am searching for a solution that will first change the people's mentality. If we achieve that, the Emperor will be toppled in due course. And that is virtually impossible. No. Surely there must be a way. But what it is, God only knows. Until we find a way, we must be patient and keep up appearances. Good night, my lady. Good night. Good night, Lady Helen. Good night. During this time, I ask that you think carefully. You may come up with a solution. The Christians are in dire straits. Yes, of course. Of course. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then. alive and almighty. They must know that the Emperor is a human being just like them. It is because of the people's ignorance that the Emperor sees himself as a god on earth. If the people are made aware of the Emperor's weakness, they will seek out the one and only God and will come to recognize you as their Lord. Oh, how can I make these people aware of you? How?
Last night, your highness did not sleep. Is this a time for sleep? Oh, how I wish I could sleep. Galus, saddle my horse. I want to go to the cave. Shall I prepare your clothes and sword? Hmm. Yes. Yes, sir. With some food for the journey. same place again for worship. Am I not to know where you go to pray? What difference does it make? It is nearby. Before the arrival of the Emperor, I must ask God for the answer. If Diocletian asks about you, what should I say? Well, Tell him I left town to check on affairs outside of the city. Your Highness. Here you are. Thank you. son. Look after your mother while I'm away. All right? All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. <coughs> Goodbye, Galus. God be with you. Take care of yourself, Your Highness. Was it necessary for His Highness to go at such a sensitive time? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> 